New at 5, the opening of a green facility at the Marshall Space Flight Center will save thousands of dollars that will go toward putting Americans back on the moon. Way 31's Stephen Del Cisian shows us how the building is friendly to the environment. Building 4221 is a green building. It reduces the water usage by 30%. Solar panels inside the building power a majority of the facility, and this will roughly save $80,000 per year. Costs for operating the building are half of what our older building was, but yet we're holding even more people than we held in our old building. Sam Ortega is one of more than 400 NASA employees who will move into the brand new environmentally friendly building. Some big names in Alabama, including Senator Doug Jones, came to Huntsville Monday for the ribbon cutting. Marshall Space Flight Center Director Jody Singer says it will hold important players for future space missions. Houses the folks that will be working on future generation systems, things that will be like habitats, uh, landers, and what it takes to get us into deep space. But Singer says it's also saving thousands of dollars. It saves us about 15 percent each year which can be a big difference as you're trying to go to space. And Singer says the extra $80,000 will go towards space developments, especially with Vice President Mike Pence's announcement in Huntsville just last month calling for Americans to return to the moon soon. Ortega says the extra money going to space developments and specific planning rooms for the human exploration team in this new building will help reach that goal. To have conversations with regards to some of the new technologies that we're going to need or the new ideas to be able to solve the problems that are coming up as we try to put boots on the moon in 2024. In Huntsville, Stephen Delcisian, Way 31 News. And this new facility replaces an older one just across the street on Redstone Arsenal. The old facility will be demolished in the future.